Ubisoft Black Samurai Homosexual Fictional Yasuke Recognition Ineffectual Ubisoft Stock Drop 12% DEI Money Wasted Not Spent Defiant Avatar Remember Me Skull and Bones Ubisoft Quadruple A Prince of Persia But Now He Is A Black Guy Combat Demand With PC Supply Ubisoft Lie To Investors On Earning Ubisoft Profits Must Be Concerning Calories Carbohydrate And Trans Fats Lady with a dick, no, I don't know about that. Stocks expected president dead. DEI op should have went for the head. Marxist dollars, black rock sense. Brand new radicals jump off the fence. Capcom shoddy, I cover my shit on Nui. Malcolm in the middle, but we over at the Dewey. Capcom gay censors SNK. Identity entity triggered by Tite. Big jaw piercings, pronoun masculine. Triggered by feminine bitch fudge packeting. Worried about a ratio, getting less work done. Maybe you'd be better easy baking me a cake, hun. Hello, beta testers. Like, subscribe, and comment to synchronize the channel's growth with the Equinox or some similar crazy shit to get YouTube off my back. I took all the lines about the entity formerly associated with Senor Beast out of my intro. I also took out the lines about the incompetent and clearly compromised Secret Service because I thought it wise to spare the feelings of apparently emotional Secret Service personnel emotions or would have new school self-insert happy developers compromising the quality of a project with the brain damaged beliefs like tomb raider shouldn't raid tombs anymore or a femme fatale should cover up and be more masculine you deserve to lose money because it's business not charity Games journalists won't rest until every bit of credibility they have is caked in the rage bait desperation associated with doing and saying anything to be mentioned. Their articles are punchlines guaranteeing the meme as they fail to hype anyone shilling for Concord? The little identity vehicle that couldn't? But if you're uninformed enough to believe jizz gargling shill games journalists, you might believe Concord, Sony's expertly crafted big bet. It's hard to complain about Hero Shooter Fatigue when Concord looks this good. You really shouldn't have already written off Concord on PS5 and PC. It's the fascinating mix of Team Fortress 2 and Destiny that you never knew you needed. Hear me out, okay? You know when blacklisted by Nintendo and run by racist Kotaku thinks it's really good that as far as gamers are concerned, this game is really bad. Commenters on the latest politically correct slop from the saboteur formerly known as DEI have people beyond disgusted by the blatant pandering that Disney has made everyone entirely too familiar with for the past goddamn decade. So it gets bad enough that Ubisoft has to lie to investors. Japanese disgust gets bad enough that a statement must be made. A statement meticulously crafted by a team of trained lawyers. So what if the grifter who made up Yasuke ran away after being exposed obsessively inventing air quotes history to sell his book and pumping wiki full of it to just make the myth come alive? So what if the guy defending the myth is a Marxist, if you don't like and buy this thing that I'm putting out, you are a racist. How dare you not just give me your money? It doesn't matter what this thing I'm selling is. It's diverse. You know because I told you. If you really cared about black people, you'd let those titties out. You don't care. Hiding dislikes may not be enough this time. YouTube's gonna be in real trouble when it comes to people making their sentiment known because that's not what the corporation's like. Like, subscribe, and comment to push this up in the algorithm because I have a question for anybody who'd make it this far in the video. If you game, what are you looking forward to? You know I'm excited about Path of Exile 2, any news on Azor Promelia, Crimson Desert, Doke V, but Black Myth Wukong, even Vampire Survivors. I'd jump into anything that I thought looked fun. And I'm fascinated by First Ascendant and hope that it manages to grow without pissing people off. Uh, are they gonna kind of have Fortnite overhauls? Will they add mounts like animals or hoverboards? Will they get mods where you can swing like Spider-Man? Because that grappling hook is finicky as hell. 
Will they bring Nintendo energy and immortalize organic community events like the Valby run that's going on in that game right now? Will the devs consider a translator relevant to the longevity of their live service because announcing that they would bring other activities up to later clarify that they're going to be bringing the Valby run down is exactly the kind of translation error you don't want to have moving forward. But with Marvel Rivals going into closed beta, I'm wondering if they'll have issues as abysmal player count wise as Concord did, or will the made by Asians jiggle physics waifu game actually appeal even if people stop playing it very quickly. I think it won't have 2000 players problems because as I mentioned, the brand won't be an excuse, you know? Marvel's Avengers happened, Gotham Knights happened, Sushi Squad happened, and even going, we're an Arkham game, we're an Arkham game. You can't exactly pretend talent. Not how it works. So, will they bring the kind of energy towards the end of the year that we know they won't because it's a woke jury subscribe into a Bible of pussy cringe elected by the Jeff Keeley Dorito Pope himself and it's going to be an advertisement show, boy howdy. But are you excited? That's what I want to know. I'm so free feeling. I'm not bothered by this weird little industry anymore. These problems are going to sort themselves out as we always knew, and I guess the nerds were compassionate enough and kind to tolerate that, but they're messing with the fighting games now. Imagine if they tried messing with the sports games. These entities have no idea the things they've set in motion among the autists whom they've offended. But I can tell you from personal experience, every time I go sniffing out whom seems to have the problem, it seems to be someone obsessed with identity. I don't know or watch Senor Based, so I couldn't tell you anything about that guy that apparently allegedly was grooming, but I am fascinated by how the energy surrounding this guy doesn't seem to match Dr. Disrespect's allegation energy. But I guess the people silent likely agree with the guy and his activities, allegedly. I, I imagine they don't see what the big deal is. I get it. These hypocrites will sexualize animals, race and gender swap like parasites instead of just making a new character. A man must be muscly, but the woman must also be muscly. <laughs> They'll turn femme fatales into little kids and slap the uninteresting Kamala Khan in front of the Avengers? Not because people like her or her lazily borrowed powers from Mr. Fantastic, but because she's diverse, so you gotta get those diversity points. The ugly self-inserts are repulsive. The preachy pandering is unprofitable. Your restaurant keeps burning food and getting the orders wrong on top of it. You expect return business? You keep hiring unqualified chefs for inclusion and representation points, but your service is inferior to the pesky competition. So your last resort is really to shame, gaslight, deceive, and lie in the hopes of manipulating the audience into spending their hard-earned funds? No. Against woke's desires, the people retain choice. Woke has long understood that if there was choice, they'd never choose what they want you to, so they removed that. I'm here to let you know, I represent the people who ooh, you'll never get rid of if you're stupid enough to think that we don't have a goddamn choice. Pussy posse like Forbes Tassie gotta hide information, gotta defend your racist friends, cause it's all about your friends. That's why you don't talk about them like Dr. Disrespect. It's not that it's not news, it's just not the news you wanna be covering. But beta testers, brace yourself for a patch. <laughs>